You have changed my morning into dancing, O Lord, and have girded me with joy. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning to all of you, and welcome to this Eucharistic celebration. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now recall our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. Christ of mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have been pleased to gladden the world by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant, we pray, that through his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may receive the joys of everlasting life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported what the chief priests and elders had told them. And when they heard it, they raised their voices to God with one accord and said, Sovereign Lord, maker of heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them, you said by the Holy Spirit, through the mouth of our father David, your servant, why did the Gentiles rage and the peoples entertain folly? The kings of the earth took their stand and the princes gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. Indeed, they gathered in this city against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed. Herod and Pontius Pilate, together with the Gentiles, and the people of Israel to do what your hand and your will had long ago planned to take place. And now, Lord, take note of their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with all boldness as you stretch forth your hand to heal and signs and wonders are done through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. As they prayed, the place where they were gathered shook, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Why do the nations rage and the peoples utter fully? The kings of the earth rise up against the Lord and against his anointed. Let us break their fetters and cast their bonds from us. Bless are all who take refuge in the Lord. He who is thrown in heaven loves. The Lord derides them. Then in anger he speaks to them. He terrifies them in his wrath. I myself have set up my king on Zion, my holy mountain. Bless are all who take refuge in the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. Bless are all who take refuge in the Lord. Please stand. If then you are raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. The 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. There was a wedding in Cana in Galilee, and the man of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servers, Do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars there for Jewish ceremonial washings, each holding twenty to thirty gallons. Jesus told the servers, Fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then Jesus told them, Draw some out now and take it to the head waiter. So they took it. And when the head waiter tasted the water that had become wine, without knowing where it came from, all of the servers who had drawn the water knew, the head waiter called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves good wine first, and then when people have drunk freely, an inferior one. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this at, as the beginning of his signs in Cana in Galilee, and so revealed his glory, and his disciples began to believe in him. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning sa inyong lahat. Today we are starting the Novena Masses in honor of the Our Lady of Manawag. And um, maraming nagtatanong kung bilang mga Kristiyano at bilang mga Katoliko, bakit tayo kinakailangan magkaroon ng isang araw ng kapistahan na inaalay sa ating mahal na Birheng Maria. Bilang mga Katoliko at Kristiyano, nagkatalaga tayo, nagtatalaga tayo ng mga araw ng tulad nito ng mga Novena Masses ng kapistahan ng Mahal na Birheng Maria upang magsilbing paalala na si Maria ay isang modelo at isang inspirasyon. Si Maria ay nagpapaalala sa atin na modelo ng kalinisan, kababaang loob at pakikinig sa ating Panginoon. Si, Made si Maria bilang modelo ng kalinisan. Katulad nating lahat, si Maria ay maraming pinagdaan ng mga pagsubok at paghihirap sa buhay. Marahil sila ay hikahos sa kanilang pamumuhay. Ngunit sa kabila ng kanyang paghihirap, si Maria ni minsan ay hindi gumawa ng kasalanan o anumang bagay na ikalulungkot ng ating Panginoon. Sa kabila ng pagiging um, kapos sa buhay, si Maria kahit kailanman ay hindi natukso na ipagpalit ang kanyang payak at busilak na kalooban sa naglalahong kisap o ningning ng kayamanan. Aanhin mo nga naman ang naglalahong ningning ng kayamanan kung ang kapalit nito ay ang pagdungis ng iyong kalooban. Si Maria bilang modelo ng kababaang loob. Si Maria ay ina ng ating Panginoong Isokristo sa makatuwid siya ay ina ng Diyos. Sa ganitong pribilehiyo, pagiging isang ina ng Diyos, marahil marami sa atin ay magkukumahog o mag-aagawan na makuha ang titulo bilang isang ina o ama ng Diyos. Sapagkat sa ganitong posisyon, mas marami kang benepisyo at mas marami kang kapangyarihan, lalo sa ating kapanahunan ngayon. Kapag ka mas malawak ang iyong kapangyarihan, kapag mas mataas ang iyong posisyon, Marahil ito ay nangangahulugan din ng mas maraming benepisyo at uh, isang paraan upang makapang-abuso ng iyong posisyon. Ngunit si Maria ay hindi ganito. Sa kabila ng pagiging pagkahirang bilang isang ina ng Diyos, kahit kailan ay hindi inabuso ni Maria ang kanyang pagiging isang ina ng Diyos sapagkat pinanatili niya ang pagiging mababang loob. Si Maria bilang modelo ng pakikinig sa Diyos. Ang tao daw na tunay na nakikinig ay isinasa puso ang kanyang napapakinggan. At ang taong isinasa puso ang kanyang napapakinggan, ito ay kanyang isinasa buhay. 
Si Maria ay ganito, sapagkat sa lahat ng kanyang narinig na turo at aral ng kanyang anak na ating Panginoon Iso Kristo, lahat ng ito ay kanyang isinapuso. She kept all these things in her heart. At matapos niyang isapuso, ang lahat ng ito ay kanyang ginawa sa pamamagitan ng pagsunod sa lahat ng aral ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Si Maria bilang modelo ng pakikinig sa Diyos. Heto si Maria, modelo ng kalinisan, kababaang loob at pakikinig sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Aba, Ginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya. Nawa tayong lahat ay tumulad kay Maria sa kanyang kalinisan, kababaang loob at pakikinig sa ating Panginoon. Aba, tayong lahat, nawa tayong lahat ay mapuno ng grasya. Please stand. <coughs> Baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, we are made children of God as through co-heirs with Christ. We can come to our Father with confidence and with Mary, our mother, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the Church on earth may be drawn together to reflect the perfect unity of the Trinity, the community of divine love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That baptized Christians may grow in the fullness of Christian life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are slaves of fear may find the freedom of the sons and daughters of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may work to bring non-believers to faith and baptism. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our departed brothers and sisters may be raised to the glory of the Holy Trinity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father and Creator, hear us as we pray with the Blessed Virgin Mary chosen before the world was made to be the mother of Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Lord, or our, our, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our, our good, good and, and the good, good of all His church. holy church. Receive, Holy Father, this offering of our humility, which we bring you with joy as we commemorate the Blessed Virgin Mary 
and grant, we pray, that it may be for us who are joined to the sacrifice of Christ, our consolation on earth and our eternal salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly even to earth's end, you have done great things, and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that they have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we are called to his supper. Lord, Lord I am Lord, not worthy Lord, that you should enter under my roof. But to say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Renewed by this Paschal Sacrament, we pray, O Lord, that we who honor the memory of the mother of your Son may show forth in our mortal flesh the life of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. The Summer Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be in April 21, 2021, third Wednesday of Easter. Novena Masses will begin on April 12, that is today, until April 20, 2021. The schedule of Masses will be at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m., and will be streamed live through the social media platforms of the Minor Basilica and Via Manawag Dominican Radio 102.7 FM. We cordially invite you to participate in the Feast and the Novena Masses. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses during this Feast and Novena, you may approach our Basilica personnel in the religious stores and mass intention counters or visit our website www.manawagbasilica.org or FB page facebook.com minor basilica Manawag official. Thank you. Please stand. Oracho Imperata. Let us turn to Mary, help of Christians for the increase of priestly vocations in the church in the Lingayen Dagupan. For every petition, we shall say, grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You accompanied your son on his way to Calvary. Walk with our seminarians in their journey of priestly formation. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through our your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You are the mother of the Good Shepherd. Inspire our youth to follow the voice of your son and courageously answer his call to the shepherds. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. You were, you were with apostles in prayer on Pente Pentecost Day. Stay with us in prayer so that the fire of the Spirit may descend on our young men seeking their vocation in life. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Your Son entrusted to you the beloved disciple at the foot of the cross. Take into your immaculate heart our young men who are reluctant to answer the call to be priest. Mary, help of Christians. Grant through your prayers many vocations to the priesthood. Let us pray. Mary, help of Christians, we place all our young men under your motherly protection. Inspire them to serve the Church as priests of your Son. Take under your motherly care our seminarians being formed for the priesthood. Accompany with your help your priest sons as they follow your Son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Eucharistic celebration has ended. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Yeah.
Thank you. Mic check. 